As regulations requiring companies to calculate and report their carbon footprint become increasingly common, many organizations are struggling to gain insight into the associated data. In response, Grind has launched a platform that allows all players in the logistics market to analyze and reduce the CO2 emissions for which they are responsible. Grain founder and CEO Oliver Ritzman says we connect manufacturers and suppliers with forwarders and service providers in a unique technology. We see strong market opportunities in this, especially since the growth potential is enormous. Our goal is to become the world's largest network for sustainable logistics. Grin's platform is open to all sides, allowing manufacturers, shippers, shipping companies, airlines, parcel service providers, and other partners to link their parameters via interfaces of PIS. Using artificial intelligence, the platform generates high-quality supply chain and sustainability data, providing automated data management and reportings. This allows suppliers and carriers to gain insight into the data and make informed decisions to reduce their CO2 emissions. Addressing the fragmented logistics market The UEU's regulations, set to take effect in 2023, apply to companies with 250 or more employees, covering 55,000 companies. However, the logistics market is highly fragmented and inefficient, with structural deficits especially technologically. For example, the top five haulers in the U road represent less than 5% of the market and 50% of trucks drive half empty. Grin's platform addresses these issues by providing global benchmarks and suggestions for improvement. Launching Platform Grain is now launching its platform and is supported by two leading global companies. The goal is to welcome more than 6,000 members to Grin AI by the end of the year. Large logistics companies that want to directly share emissions with all customers via Grin, I to automate reporting are already on board for the launch of the platform. Grin Community and Grin Zero Grin Community data will be used to anonymously aggregate Grin members in the next phase to achieve consolidation effects through network optimization. This will be done through mode switching, for example, from road to rail or load optimization, which can save CO2 to a considerable extent. Grin's platform provides transparency and a one-stop solution to measure and reduce the carbon footprint of global supply chains. By connecting manufacturers and suppliers with forwarders and service providers, the platform allows companies to make informed decisions to reduce their CO2 emissions. The launch of the platform and its certification program Grin Zero positions the company to become the world's largest network for sustainable logistics. As demand for transport is set to triple, the need for sustainable logistics is more important than ever. Grin's platform is a step in the right direction to reducing the global CO2 emissions caused by freight transport and logistics, saving the planet in a fun and efficient way. Grin has developed a tool for climate action that simplifies a complex topic and helps organizations deliver their contribution to reducing global warming. It guides organizations through measuring, reporting, and improving their carbon emissions by offering clear, actionable recommendations. Organizations can share their grind fingerprint with all stakeholders and partners. Grin aims to become the sustainable logistics standard. About Grin. Grin believes that acting sustainably should be an integrated part of society and that tools should be easily accessible to companies of all sizes to manage and reduce emissions. The founding team is made up of repeat entrepreneurs who have previously built venture-backed companies, held senior positions at leading logistics and Fortune 500 companies, as well as experienced marketers. Together, the team hopes to build Grand into a leading sustainable brand that creates an outstanding user experience and simplifies the calculation and reduction of carbon emissions in a playful way through data, driven processes, and eye-powered technology. So that's it for today's video. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching.